Welcome to this Math OD1 video. In my previous videos, I defined slope and also t helped you determine whether the slope of a graph line was positive, negative, zero, or undefined. I also created a video where we determined the slope of a line given a graph. the graph. We're not quite on um, part D yet. We're going to just do more examples of graphing a line and finding, or sorry, finding the slope of a graph line. So let's get started. Here's our first example. So notice in this um, graph, none of the points are labeled for us. So we need to look at this and actually find where this is crossing the um, intersections of the grids. So it looks like it crosses here and here and here and once more here. So I can literally pick any of these four points that I want to, it does not matter. So just randomly, I'll call this A, I'll call this B. So remember, our definition of slope is rise over run, which is also the change in y over the change in x. So let's see if we can figure out the slope of this line. So as I move from a to b, the change in y is positive 3 units. The change in x is positive 1 unit. So we have positive 3 over positive 1, and that becomes 3. So my final answer is that this line has a slope of 3. Let's do some more examples. Okay, what about this line right here? So again, remember this is a horizontal line. So you can do one of two things. You can remember that the slope of a horizontal line is 0. Or, if you happen to forget that, you can pick two random points, doesn't matter where. And you can say that the change in x here is positive 2, and then the change in y, well, the change in y is 0, because they're not increasing or decreasing in height. So then we remind ourselves, well, the change in y over the change in x is our slope, so we have 0 over 2, which is equal to 0. So our slope is 0. All right, let's look at the next problem. Again, these points are not labeled for us, so we have to take a minute and label them. And I could pick any two of these points that I want to. I'll just randomly select these two points, A and B. Remember, a good practice is to pause this video, see if you can find the answer on your own, then unpause it and find out if you were correct or incorrect. The more interactive you can be with these videos, the better off you're going to be. So remember, we're trying to find the change in Y over the change in X. So we start from point A and we go down one unit. So remember when we go down, that is a negative direction. So the change in y is going to be negative one. Then we go to the right two units, that's positive. So the change in x is positive two. So overall, our slope is negative one over two or negative one half. All right, here's some more examples. So again, you have to be careful to pick points that cross where the grid lines are crossing. So to me, it looks like we have three points to choose from here. So I'll call this point A and I'll call this point B. So if I start here, I can go down one unit. So the change in Y is negative one. And then we have to go over one, two, three, four units to get to Point B. So the change in x is actually positive 4. So my slope is negative 1 fourth. How about this next line? Well, let's pick two points. Let's pick these two. So notice our change in y, if I call this a and I call this b, then our change in y is 3. But what's our change in x? Well, x isn't changing at all. So we have delta y over delta x which is 3 over 0, which is undefined. Okay, and again, if you just look at this and recognize that it is a vertical line, and you jump straight to the fact that it's undefined without doing any math in between, that's okay too. All right, let's do one more problem. So again, the points have not been marked for us, so we need to go through and put dots where we see the line crossing through some integer points. 
So again, you can pick any two points that you want. I'm going to pick these two points, A and B. So to get from A to B, first I need to find my delta Y. My delta Y is plus 2. And my delta X is plus 3. So I have 2 over 3, so the slope of this line is positive 2 thirds.